Today it's going to be 33-2 and we're going to take a look at sum and difference identities. But today we're actually going to focus on using those sum and difference identities to prove different trig identities. So here's our first one, to show that each are true. So I have the sine of x plus 2 pi equals sine of x. Now remember we talked about we want to look at which side looks more complicated. This side clearly looks more complicated. Well this is I'm adding angles. So immediately my brain should be thinking, oh, that's a sum and difference identity. So that's going to be sine of theta. Let me erase that. We have sine of alpha plus beta. That will equal sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. So if this is my alpha and this is my beta, then I'm going to get sine of x cosine of 2 pi plus cosine of x sine of 2 pi. So now there might be values that I could use on the unit circle. This sine of 2 pi, that's going to be 0. Cosine of 2 pi, that's going to be 1. So I now have the sine of x times 1 plus the cosine of x times 0. So that's going to go to 0. So I just get the sine of x. And that's going to be my result. On this next example, so once again, sum and difference identity. And so the one for cosine is going to be cosine alpha cosine beta do the opposite, so plus sine alpha sine beta. So this is going to be cosine of x cosine of 2 pi plus sine of x sine of 2 pi. Well that's 0, that's going to be 1, so I just get cosine of x. Now the same thing can be applied here, except we're in degrees instead of radians. So this will be sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha cosine sine beta. So now sine of 90 degrees is 1 cosine of 90 degrees is 0 so this just becomes cosine theta plus 0 and so that's going to equal cosine theta. For tangent so this is going to be tangent alpha plus tangent beta over 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta. Well now the tangent of pi force, that's going to be 1, so that goes to 1, and that goes to 1. And so I'm going to get tangent of x plus 1 over 1 minus tangent of x times 1, which is just tangent of x. And I can switch the top, so I get 1 plus tangent of x over 1 minus tangent of x. This last one here, so this one's going to be just a little bit longer. But for each of these, I have to use the sum and difference identity for. So this will be sine pi force cosine of x plus cosine of pi force sine of x plus. Now for here, I get sine of pi force cosine of x minus sine of it would be cosine x cosine of pi force sine of x now seeing if anything cancels out here we have a minus cosine pi force sine x and a positive cosine pi force sine x so those cancel out
And so now I have, <clears throat> evaluating this, I get radical 2 over 2 cosine of x plus radical 2 over 2 cosine of x because the sine of pi force is radical 2 over 2. And then if I add those together, I get 2 radical 2 over 2 cosine of x. Those cancel out, so I get radical 2 cosine of x. Those equal each other. So this concludes our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.